Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to review this drone, the Hollystone F181 Explorer. And I want to review this drone for two main reasons. First of all, I want to show you what it can do, but mainly what kind of image quality you can expect from a camera of this type for the price range of this drone. I bought uh, this drone a few months ago on Amazon for about uh, $100. It is still available today, but there is a new model that has a uh, altitude hold mode. This one does not have that. So a couple of things I want to say quickly. When I bought this drone, I got an email the day after from Hollystone. I was thinking, holy smoke, this drone is going to be discontinued or something, or out of stock. But no, the email was to tell me that um, I they were happy that I ordered. And if I had a problem with the drone, with my purchase, they gave me an email address. So that was super cool, like the day after I bought the drone. Then when I opened the box, what you see in the box, the first thing is this postcard. This is cool again. This is the city where the drone or the company is located in uh, China. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, Xiamen, I guess. Xiamen, I'm not sure. And here at the back, it, it, it says here, thank you for uh, buying the, uh, the product. And it gives you here email addresses and the websites. And what you have also is a coupon, $5 for your next purchase. You have a manual, AZ to, uh, to use, and a uh, alternate mode of operation here, and a um, guide for the use of lithium battery. So apart from the documentation, you get a little screwdriver and also uh, four uh, props as replacement props. As you can see though, the package is uh, very minimal. It's just a plastic uh, insert. So uh, this is the drone here. It's uh, amazingly light for its uh, size. And uh, you can see here, the camera is right here. So you can remove the camera if you don't want to fly with it. The cable is here. It has an on off switch, which is, I like that. Uh, you can put the battery in, walk across the street to the park, and then you can just turn the switch on. So very, very nice build. I decided to install the prop guards. They come with the kit, but you don't have, of course, to uh, install them. And the transmitter. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to buy this drone, to be honest, because look at this thing here. I thought that this would be like flimsy or like easy to, to break or to damage, but that's not the case. It's actually well built. As you can see here, very, very nice uh, display. So you have here, you have light, you can control the lights on the drone, photo, video, uh, headless mode, and here you have your trims. So very nice, small size. Oh, I forgot to mention flips over here. So you can flips, and here it's the, your rates. So you can go to, uh, maybe I can do it now. Uh, no, it won't show because it's not, it's not uh, bind to the, uh, the drone. But here you have your rates, 25%, 50 75 and 100%. The drone comes with uh, two uh, batteries. There are uh, 750 uh, milliamp hour. And you get also uh, two USB uh, chargers, which is very good for the price point. But be careful here, uh, Hollystone recommends that you do not exceed 0.5 amps uh, when you charge, and a lot of charging blocks are around 1 or 1.5 amps. So this would be good to charge from a PC, for example. And you also get a 4 gigabyte micro SD card. It's small, only 4, but for the, um, the size of the pictures that you can take uh, with this drone, that's a lot of pictures. I want to take a few seconds to compare the size of this drone with, for example, the Ishin E55 that I reviewed a few weeks ago. Look at here the size difference between the two. And a well-known drone, the Latrex Elias, as you can see here. The um, Explorer is a little bit bigger than the uh, Elias. You can see the drone has a very bright uh, LEDs. You can see here at the bottom, red is for the back. There's also an LED here 
in the front of the drone. So, and to bind the drone, all we have to do is full throttle and then back down, and we are good to go. So, I'll be at the 50% here, 50% rate to start because we're indoors, so I don't want to go too high. As you can see, the drone is very, very stable. Like I haven't touched the fins yet. I may have to do a bit of spin forward and look at my uh, controller. I'll try to, I just want to remember it doesn't have a uh, altitude uh, hold. But look at my controller. I'm not touching anything. 50% as you can see, there is a, um, it's more, not agile too much quite responsive as you can see I'm like throttle up down I can control the lights as you can see now I'm going to try to do that now the lights are off now they're on I can do flips indoor I lose about the two feet look at this we'll do that again I touch the ceiling there you go it goes, down, it goes up by about a foot. I forgot about that. This one goes up before it does the flip. Let's do it again. Total success. So these are the flips. I'm going to take a uh, picture. The uh, bookcase, as you can see, is quite busy over there, which is perfect for a picture. So I'll take a picture now. Took one. I'll get a bit closer. Another picture. I'll take a few and I'm going to post them in my video at the end. I'll now take a, a video. When you take a video, you get two beats. Again, I'm trying to take a video here of details in the, uh, in the bookcase. So as you can see, it's uh, quite stable. I'm at the 50%. I'll go up in the... Um, I'll go up in the rate to 100%. You can see here, it's a lot more agile as you can see. I'll go back to 50. The only thing that the people don't know, and you never know until you buy a drone of this type, is that the rudder the rates do not work for the rudder. So as you can see, it's a slow rudder. And even if I go at 100% uh, uh, rates, the rudder is the same, unfortunately. So that's kind of, it's too bad. So that limits your uh, acrobatics. The lights are flashing, as you can see. So we will land now. There is no uh, auto land button. There you go, perfect landing. So here we can see on the display, we have here the range, the, um, the strength of the uh, signal. So when you start to go far away, this will go down. You have here the battery indicator for the transmitter. And here you have the LED telling you that the light, uh, the LEDs are on, on the drone. My uh, final thoughts on uh, these uh, drones equipped with basically the same uh, camera in uh, this price range from 75 to uh, 150 approximately. Well, you saw the pictures I posted, you saw the video. Uh, don't buy these drones for video or for pictures. They're not good, okay? You cannot expect a drone in that price range to have the quality of a $1,000 DJI drone, for example. Uh, they're fun to fly. You can fly them indoor if they're not too big and if you have uh, guards. You can fly them outdoor, outside, if it's not too windy. But do not buy these drones 
for pictures and for videos. So thank you for watching everybody. As always, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Have a great day. Goodbye.